Well, let's go live now uh, to Geneva and talk to Swithin Still, who is the commercial director of Allegro, an agricultural commodities company which specializes in Russian grain. Thank you for being with us. Um, does this suggest that looking at the grain market internationally, there is an over-reliance of just a few countries? Well, uh, I wouldn't suggest that uh, there's an over-reliance on a few countries. Uh, natural disasters happen. There's nothing you can do to control the weather or indeed politics. Uh, so Russia has been a net exporter and with the FSU, uh, is the largest or has been the largest exporter of wheat in the last few years with Kazakhstan and Ukraine. OK, but, but you must know from your position in Geneva, your company, that when a country like Russia um, restricts its exports, it must be an effect just on your business, if nothing else. Well, absolutely. Our business has suffered greatly because our uh, business was the export of Russian wheat. We specialise in the export of Russian wheat. And we, amongst other companies here uh, dealing with Russian wheat, are having to trade now other origins and other products which are not covered by the ban. Um, are we dealing, do you think, uh, uh, with a short-term blip caused, for example, by those wildfires, or are we seeing a long-term trend which, is, which suggests a much bigger, much more political problem in the years to come? I would suggest that uh, this is not just a blip. Um, as the previous commentator stated, uh, given the extreme heat which has uh, caused the drought and uh, the reduction of about 20 million tonnes of wheat production this season, it's going to be very difficult also to seed next year's crop in time. It needs to be in the ground by the 15th of September, otherwise we're going to have a real big problem next year as well. And as Mr Putin has said, Russia may be out of the export game next year as well into November 2011. All right, Swindon Still, thank you for your time. Thank you.